Hello, welcome back to Our Pop. And today is Friday. Happy Friday to everybody. And I hope everybody is having a great weekend so far. Um, I know I got a little new look today. Not really a new look, a different hat. Uh, my hair is going crazy. You know, the best, the most powerful time for a gay male is after a haircut. Well, the weakest time before for a gay male is before the haircut. And let's just say this, this is a mess. So, hence the hat. So, it's Friday. It's great. We have some really good um, people that I haven't heard of, some people that I have heard of um, on this list. And once again, I'm giving you my top 12 uh, songs that, I, that really made an impression on me during with all that came out literally today. So, let's get into it. And I know there's like a handful of other like albums that just came out today too, which is stay tuned. There will be more videos coming with that one next week. Um, but let's start with number one, which is number one is I Want You by Taylor, um, Parse, Parks, Taylor Parks. I want it, that's like, I want it, that's like, it's kind of a drag name or something. Taylor Parks. Hello, my name is Taylor Parks. Um, anyway, so I like the song. It's, it's called I Want You and, um, but the production on the hook is really fun. Like it doesn't, it doesn't do, like there's nothing going on in the beginning, which is that's usually what happens with the EDM songs or something that's EDM, it's inspired. Um, but then it hits you with the hook and with the, all the, all the production comes in at once. And it's really nice. And I like the message, like pretty much saying that she has a lot of baggage, but she still wants to be with this guy, even though she has a lot of baggage. She's basically trying to tell him like kind of be patient and to take her with everything with that type of thing. Uh, number two is Pushing 20 um, by Sabrina Carpenter. Now, Sabrina Carpenter, I haven't really got, I got into some of her songs. She's popped up in my fucking, like, rec like recommendations and my radios. And it's just, it's, I, I'm trying, I'm trying so hard to like her. I, it's not that I don't like her. I don't, I think her sound is good, but this thing is kind of generic. Like, or not, I shouldn't say that, it's not, that's very unfair. I don't think it's generic, I think it's more the fact that it's just, it's just not speaking to me, it's not, it's not pulling me in. With set for Sumi, I love Sumi, Sumi is great. And Pushing 20 is another one that I really like, and it's very cool, it has like, it's a very confident song, it's just like, I can do better with or without you kind of thing, like, it doesn't matter, like, if you don't want this, I'm moving on, whether you want this or not, it's just like, I'm, like, it's very independent, I like that. Um, hopefully I'll get more into her someday, but till now I got, like, two songs on her. Um, number three is Low and High, or Low High by the Black Keys. I love the Black Keys, I think they're so amazing. I think that every, almost every song off of the, ah, I can't remember what it was called, um, from, it's it's from it's the same album that has tight, tighten up and I just every song from that album is really really good and I definitely suggest listen to it. This song right here I feel like it's very it's it reminds me of like a the beginning of like a heist movie where like people kind of where like you start seeing the car roll up and then this song starts playing dun, 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 and they're coming out that's not how it sounds and they come out with it and they come out of the the car and. They're all with their suitcases and everything, and no one knows what's going on, but they're all in black and something's up. You know, that sounds like this type of song would be playing in the background, which I'm sure, give it another, like, heist movie to come out soon, I'm sure that's gonna be it. Um, I do like it also, because it still, it still keeps that, like, that classic black keys. Ah, uh, I just love it. The guitar is great, the, produc the production's great. It's very night, very tight and clean. Um... Number four is uh, not to be not allowed to. Uh, not allowed to is by Dylan Joel. Dylan Joel is somebody that I have a gr great beginning thing for him. I, I was a fan in the beginning, like Authentic Lemonade. I love Authentic Lemonade. That was his. That was his album that for some reason isn't on Spotify, so it's kind of weird. But that he has now this new album that's going to come out that's have it has him in it, and I don't really care for all of the songs other than um, "Done with You." I just I just kind of feel like it 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 reminds me of it reminds me of a a nonstop um, Ed Sheeran coming in, coming in, coming in, like with this like 
he'll sing you a little bit of this, and then he's rapping with you with this. And it's just like, we know that Dylan Joel is a rapper. We know that it's fun to have, kind of open up the doors and have them kind of sing a little bit, but I'm not really big on his song, his his singing, but I do like his messages and his song. So with that saves the messages. And I like this one because it kind of just points out how like we're not, how there's certain things that you're not allowed to do in societal vision, but in other ways you could do it if you really wanted to. And he talks about like, I really want to do that, but I don't do it because I understand like the consequences of everything. And I understand the looks that it looks like if I, if I do it, you know? So, I like it. It's a really good message. Um, number five is West Coast by e g Easy, and I know that everyone does not like g Easy. I actually think he's fucking sexy as hell. I would do anything. He can do anything. Um, to me. He's just... He, it's, it's, I understand, he's very cocky, he has, he has associated with Halsey, which is no one actually likes in that direction too, or people have an issue with that per with her too. So, they're not really be the best, like, Hap, like best influential couple but I do like the sound it's very west coast it's a nod to west coast west coast sound and everything and I love hip, like west coast hip hop uh yeah yeah I say it west coast hip hop is much better than east coast hip hop and I think that that's I love east coast hip hop but I just like uh west coast just has that just like and we have Snoop Dogg we have fucking Snoop Dogg that's all we need and so, I like this. I also like this song because it's very cruisy. Like, I can totally just, like, it just reminds myself just cruising through, like, a, a like a neighborhood that's, like, a quiet neighborhood, but it's just, like, you're just cruising through with the song, like, blaring, and just, it's very nice. Um, number six, Dollars to a Dime um, by Maya B. Maya B is somebody I have never heard of. Um, I do like this song. It's very flexy. Um, she basically wants to be, like, dripping in gold. She wants to be, like, she wants to be rich she wants to be all like all the type of like f like glamorous as possible and she talks about it and she's like why not and i say and i agree why not she's she wants it she can get it ariana grande said it before she can do it too um there's not really too much depth with this song but it's just a flex song and it's a good flex song and everybody should have it. and like flex songs are okay i've heard actually side note i've heard people talk about how they didn't like um Seven Rings because they thought it was too. They don't want to care. They don't care for her flexing with her money. But I think it's just like everybody flexes. Everybody has a flex song eventually. It's just a matter of time when you get one. You know. Um, oh, this is a bad shirt for this episode. God. Anyway, so number seven is The King feat uh, by Conan Gray, and I picked this song for a lot of for choice for a lot of different choices. One, because I like his name, and I never heard of him before. Um, the King is pretty much him, it's another, it's the theme in this column is pretty much flexing. In this video, it's going to be a lot of flexing. Um, and this one is like pretty much just like, I know, I know that you're out there and you're going out to clubs and stuff like that, and I don't really care, and you, people other think that I should be worried, but I'm not, because I'm the king, and you're going to come home to me eventually anyway, blah, blah, blah. He has very conf he's, he's very confident in this like interaction between this, this girl. So, which is, I mean, good for him, but I just, it, it's, it's, it's a good, the production's more of what I'm here for, it, like, the production's really good, and I like his, and I, his, his vocals are, eh, it's white boy, white boy pop, like, it's not something, it's a clony part of something I've heard of before, but I do like the sound of the song. Um, number eight is Brilliant Inward by, um, Channel, uh, Channel, uh, Triss. Um, so this song actually, I just, the production is insane. The production is so chill, it's so relaxed, and at the same time you still get like pieces and pieces of pieces of things that comes into the production. Um, the, that lovely fucking like bass guitar that he just literally points out, he's like, uh, oh, you like that bass, blah, 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 whatever the fuck he says. And he's like, and it just like starts like, do, 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 do. Dude, like it's just uh it's a bass guitar is amazing it's catchy and i love the production i think it's really cool um i have never heard of channel stress i want to get into him i'm actually curious to see if he has way more songs than just this so obviously i need to catch up um number nine is one of my favorite songs of this list is anti-social socialites um this is by uh con con uh i just literally saw the pronunciation or uh, um, the way to pronounce this, um, Canon, Canon, 
um, Palmer featuring um, Nico Pop and Yuri uh, Jones. Oh my god. So I love this song. It's so bubbly. And Nico Pop is a DJ who I am obsessed with. I'm going to make a video about him completely and that's coming very soon. Um, I just, I love his sound. I love this guy's sound because his voice sounds really great and it mingles perfectly into this song, especially with the production. It's very happy and bouncy. Um, I'm pretty much talking how, like, we don't have to go out. We can just be, we can have the party or this whatever we're having inside the house or just not socialize with anybody else, just me and you or me and whatever the people are with us kind of thing. And I love it. And I love the part where it breaks like he gets his two, he gets his bridge, he gets he gets his bridge, he gets his two verses, he gets his chorus, and it breaks. And you think, okay, that's good. Like that's that's the whole song. That makes sense. It was clean, it's perfect. And then Yuri comes in with his rap, and it's just like, there's more. You get so excited. I don't know why. I at least I did. I got super excited. I was like, there's more to the song because I didn't want it to be done. I love production. The production is so fucking great, and I. Can't wait for more Nico's pop, Nico pop songs. I cannot wait for his album. The album's gonna be amazing. I, I already know it. I already know it. Um, um, number 10 is, um, Faldina. Uh, uh, so by, blah, 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 blah. um, it's Leslie Shaw featuring, um, uh, Mal, Mal A. Ricky. Um, God, my Spanish is fucked up. Anyway, so this song's really good. I love the beat. It's really happy, fun. Um, this we actually can see in the summer. Like, it's a very good summer song. I can totally play this in the, like, next to the beach or next, or just in a, like, having a summer party, like, outside. It's a really good song for it. Um, and I also love the fact that it just, it's just, like, her voice is great. And then his, and their voice, and their voice kind of, their their lyrics kind of come in and out. Like, you get her and you get them. You get her and then you get them kind of coming in and out. And it kind of makes it seem like it's a full their song. And it's really good. Um, number 11 is Fading by, uh, by Tidy. Tidy? Tidy. I'm sure it's Tidy. Um, featuring Jess. Um, I don't know who Jess is. And Tidy, I actually heard some of his songs. There's a song called Tear Me Up. Um, with one of the members from Hot Ray Ch or Hot Shirley Ray, and that song is one of my favorite songs from him. Um, this is a really good one. I like the synth. I like the darker kind of tone it has with it that I haven't seen him do before. Um, the guitar riff in the background, kind of like very flamenco kind of thing in the background. I really like that, and I love how the the beat picks up in the like the hook. It picks up immediately, and then it goes away, and it comes back again. Um, number 12, the final one, is Let It Be Me by Jesse Jesso. Um, I love this song. It's very good, very good lyrics. He has a good voice. I love, I loved him since, um, um, Stargazing, um, by Kylo, I think. Um, anyway, so he, he did this song, his voice, which is, uh, his voice is just, it's, it's, it's up there. He goes for the notes and he, and it lands it nicely. You can totally hear the, like, the strain in his voice, like, not in a bad way, but, like, the, he's using a lot of power in his voice, and, it, and it's, and it's, and it's paying off, it's, it's great. And so you get this song with this one, and he's pretty much saying, like, if you ever, um, when you're feeling sad, blah, 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 let it be me, let me be the one that, like, kind of, like, lifts you up, and encourages you, and, like, be there, be there when you're sad, blah, blah, blah. And so, I love that, I love the melody, and I love the fact that the production, has its own type of thing. Like, I don't really know who produces his songs, but I really like, I really like where he's going with all this. I'm interested to see what his album's gonna be like. Um, but I really like the song. I really suggest listening to it. it is, you'll, you'll love the vocals, if anything. Um, no, um, a bonus one I have, because I, I, last, when I, it was more of a last minute add on, because I was just listening to a song as I was setting up. And I have to say this one. Um, so number 13 bonus is stuck or stick to you, or stick stick by you by Strange Talk. I love Strange Talk. I I follow them since they started. Um, I really like their songs. I really like I like the I like the the direction they're going. They don't really seem this. I like the fact that they don't they had a direction, but they keep on like adapting to a lot of the sound that's going on, like throughout the times. And this song is pretty. It's still current. It's really great. It's really great. Um. 
I love his voice. I love the melody. It's very catchy. You can definitely, like, the minute you hear the song, you're definitely going to be singing along because it's, it's, it has that very catchy hook. Um, so, yeah. So, that is the, that is my top 12 with a bonus of 13. Um, today is March 8th, and I hope everybody has a great weekend. And leave a comment below. Tell me what you thought. If you like some of these songs, or some of these songs actually, you've, or some of these bands, or, or, artists as you've knew before, like tell me more of another song that you like from them, because then I can definitely look it up and kind of get into that. Um, I will also put a, like I usually do, but I also put a, the list of the songs on the, um, in my little box. So if everybody wants, so if you want to look and see what these, what these songs are, I know talking to it about it is not really easy to see it. But, um, yeah, so if you're listening, if you want to know more about the songs, it's inside my little box. And I shall see you guys in the next video.